Good morning everyone. Today we will be discussing about the nullable operators. Nullable operators are nothing but the operators which are said to be used for the concept of where the values it will be taking the only the null values or it may be taking any of the values which are preferred within that particular range. Okay, null means either null or it may be taking a normal range which is being preferred for that nullable types. Okay, here you can check out there are various types of ranges which are being being provided for the nullable operators. The various ranges are between this one to this one the range is being preferred. Okay, or null it is being either specified as null for the various variables which are of the type int. Okay, and even it is said to be even taking the true or false values or the null value which is being preferred and mainly the syntax of the nullable types are being given here whichever data type you are using in float double and the question mark question mark is only for the nullable operators the variable name and the value null okay this is the nullable operator which is being provided and the example for the nullable operators are you can check out here okay have as you start here this is the beginning of the program then you have the main program in that you have the int int question mark means what this is a nullable type where the variable it consists of the nullable num1 and num2 num1 has null and num2 has 45 and whereas another vari few variables are there called as num3 and num4 which are of type double and they are said to be taking the value new double value which is said to be a nullable type and your num4 is said to be 3.14157 and another type is there of the nullable type which is of bool type and new bool whichever value is being specified it will be taking that particular value within that okay when it is said to be using a question mark means what the nullable value it is either taking the false value or true value or it may be null nothing will be printed on the screen so same thing when it is being printed here through the console right line statement you can check out here what has happened so here when you check it you have the nullable as shown in the zeroth placeholder is nothing but your number okay and your first place is your num2 the third nothing but the second placeholder in that you have the new double and in the third placeholder you have the 3.147 that is your num4 so you are printing num1 num2 num3 and num4 when they are printed you have the values where the nullable shows first one num1 num1 is said to be accepting the null value so nothing is being printed here or in the num2 type you have what the value you have the value 45 so it is being printing here 45 then you have the value which is said to be third one new double it doesn't have any value but it has a question mark means what it is an allowable type so third here you can check out here third it is said to be the value which is said to be there which is said to be null it is it is taking a null whereas at the end since it is taking the value num 4 so num 4 what is happening it is taking 3.14157 so that num 4 is being printed here and another one variable which is being printed is the bool value the console right line it is taking a value which is said to be of the bool value in the zeroth placeholder so bool value nothing is there so we have only a question mark here for the bool means it is a null value so it is accepting null value nothing is being printed in that particular thing okay this is your nullable operator when it is null it will accept null otherwise if it is taking a value variable value that variable value it will be printed in the nullable operators whereas another type in the nullable types is the null collapsing operator which has the two question mark it is said to be having the types which are said to be value or the reference type which will be there and here you can say you are said to be using the implicit conversion which we have dealt in the previous class it will be using whatever value you are taking that value it will be taking okay if another variable with that particular value is being given then it will be preferring that particular variables value so num1 num2 if num2 is null then it will be taking the other value of the num3 like that it will be taking the else part also when you are using else part means what if i am accepting first variable as null the other variable another option is being given with certain value then that certain value it will be taken okay you can say a value for the first operand is said to be null then the second operand it returns if the second operand is said to be having certain value then that value it will be taken and it will be printed as the value for the uh, output okay so that is said to be nullable coalescing operator it will be dealt with the two question marks 
okay and the example you can check out here what is happening here also you have the same example you have double num1 null then double num2 3.14157 and num3 which is also a double time so num3 what it is accepting num1 the double question marks 5.34 so which means what if num3 it will be taking num1 else it will be taking 5.34 so num1 you can check out here it is said to be null so it will be not accepting this value but it is said to be having an option of 5.34 so it will be considering that 5.34 if it is said to be preferred okay here what is being done here the num3 is being printed so value you can check out here the value is 5.34 whereas the same way another example num3 is equal to num question mark double question mark num2 double question mark 5.34 so num2's value is what 3.147 you can check out here in the example num2's value is what 3.14157 it is not null num2 is said to be having a value so when it is printing the output when you check it num3's value it will be accepting num2 not this other part here since num1 is null it is accepting this value since here num2 num is said to be having a value it will be accepting num2 not the other value is being preferred that is the usage of the null collapsing operators okay so this concept you have learned okay whatever things are there in the nullable types it will be accepting whatever value is being given to it num1 num2 num3 or null variable that it will accept when nullable collapsing is there if you give a second option for that the uh, variables then it will be accepting that particular second uh, variables value if the first one is said to be null okay these are the concepts of what do you mean by called as the nullable operators which you will be in future you may be using in your programmatic concept okay thank you